Today, I'm going to show you the offense that I use to finish in the top 35 in Weekend League. And if this video reaches 1,000 likes, I will give away free premium memberships to 10 people who comment on this video and are subscribed to the channel. With that, let's get into it. We're going to be looking at the formation gun type. In today's video, I'm going to give you a full mini scheme that you can take into game immediately and start dominating your opponent. We are going to be looking at the Washington football team offensive playbook in this video, but this formation can be found in nine different playbooks in the game listed here. But if you do want my full scheme that I use to finish top 35 in weekend league, head over to winmadden.com, take your game to the next level, start winning and stop losing games today. But with that said, let's jump into the setups. Real quickly, I want to talk about abilities. The only abilities I think you really need that are must-haves for the scheme are to have one of the pass velocity abilities. Gunslinger, set feet lead, or pass lead elite. All right, guys, the first play that we're going to cover is drive corner. Now, drive corner has one of the best corner routes in the entire game, and I'm going to show you exactly how to use it. Now, all right, so the first setup though out of drive corner is just a universal zone beater. It will beat every zone in the game. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put X on a streak, we're gonna put B on a flat route, and we're going to wheel route RB. Now, what this is gonna do is it's gonna give us two very simple reads. The first thing we're gonna be looking at is the flat route and wheel route combination to the right side. If the user doesn't go guard that, we're oftentimes gonna have that wheel route for a huge gain. The next thing is if the user does go guard that, Oftentimes that gives us the tight end on his in route over the middle of the field. And then lastly, if we hang on to the ball, we're going to have that Y route against cover two, cover three, and cover four for a huge gain to the sideline. That route is much more open when we're able to roll out to the left, but I'll show you exactly how to throw it here in a second. So we're going to snap it. You're going to notice if we're able to get to the outside, we're then going to have that Y route for just a huge gain on the sideline. And we're talking 45, 50 yards on a very, very simple play. Uh, not a lot to it, but very, very easy read. So let's take a look at this. The first read again, like I said, is this wheel route and flat route combination to the right. Against cover threes and cover fours and match defense, this is going to be wide open. And that's because this flat route that we put on B, is going to pull any flat routes out to the sideline with him, allowing us to throw this wheel route underneath for just a very, very comfortable throw in an easy game. Now, if the user were to go guard that, remember we manned up the user with the tight end because we decided the user was going to guard him. Well, you can just imagine here, right, the user goes to guard this. Well, that tight end is now wide open, right? Easy read over the middle of the field, a 10, 15 yard pickup, very, very simple. And then of course, Remember, we streaked this X receiver right here, and the purpose of that streak route is to pull this deep third. Uh, whether this is a deep half, a deep third, a deep quarter, it doesn't matter. This streak is going to pull any of them down the field far enough where we're able to throw this to the sideline. And this corner route is so good because it gets under those deep zones, but at the same time, it gets over the top of any zone drop in the game, allowing us to throw this on the sideline for a huge, huge gain. Right, and again, that's drive corner. I'll give you one more look at it here. And again, we're running this to the short side of the field every single time. This time, let's have the user go and guard that wheel route. I'm just manning him up on the running back just to give you an example. And I'm just gonna show you, oh, we went to guard the wheel route, cool. We're gonna take that tight end right over the middle. We're gonna take our 15 yards. A very simple, very easy play that is incredibly, incredibly difficult to defend. All right, guys, the next play we're going to look at is another universal zone beater, and it's the play Mesh Spot. Now, you're going to notice that this play is very similar already to how we set up Drive Corner, but this is going to have an extra utility for us. So what we're going to do is we're the first setup here, we're going to look at three different setups. We're going to set it up very similar to Drive Corner. We're going to streak X, we're going to put B in a flat route, and now you have the option of re-wheel routing RB or keeping RB on his wheel route. Both will work. The, the stock wheel route right here gets up the field much faster. The hot routed wheel route takes a little bit longer, but I do feel like it's a little bit more open. That is up to you, but I like both options and I use both of them throughout the game. Now, what's special about this is, remember how Drive Corner had a very deep, skinny corner route? 
Well, this corner route gets to the sideline much faster and gives us an easier read, especially if we stay in the pocket, but really does a great job of beating cover twos and cover threes to the sideline for a very nice game. But what we're doing is again, making this read with the linebacker. Uh, wherever the linebacker goes, we just throw opposite of them in any zone defense. It's very simple. Again, I'm gonna hang out of this ball as long as possible, show you the reads, and then we'll take a look at it. So here, Again, nice corner out to Y, just a very, very simple play. Now, let's go into instant replay and take a look at this as well. If we look immediately to the right, again, we've got this flat route going out here and pulling out this flat uh, defender. Now, we do have an actual defender playing this wheel route. That's great, because look underneath here, the user didn't follow the tight end and we've got a great little drag route underneath for an easy check down that would have picked up five, 10 yards if we break one tackle. But again, that flat route also serves another purpose. Not only is it a quick, easy check down read, it pulls down any zones that are to the sideline. And you'll notice this zone comes down, leaving this corner out wide open to the sideline for a really nice gain a very very simple progression read you just literally move your eyes from the right to the left giving yourself a simple simple breakdown read again this time we'll change it up we'll go hard flats and give you an idea of how this plays right and we'll streak x be on a flat we'll re wheel route rb this time and then you do have the option of if you want to motion out b you can certainly do that too doesn't matter and you can see that wheel route now wide open, huge gain. You make one guy miss, you might even get a touchdown. But setup number one, universal zone beater, very, very good. Let's go immediately to setup number two with this though. And this is much more of a quick read. When somebody's blitzing you very heavily and you need to get the ball off really quickly, this is exactly what I like to go to. So let's pretend that we've got a situation where they're base aligning, they're pressing, and they've they've just been in this mode where they're gonna send the blitz pretty much every time. You know, it might look something like this even, right? And what we're gonna do in the scenario where we're being heavily blitzed is we're just gonna make the very, very simple progression here. We're gonna put B on the flat, we're gonna put X on a flat, and now we've got a situation where we can either put our tight end on a slant route or we can keep them on his drag. I prefer the slant route in this scenario just because I think it's a little bit of a quicker read, but this is very simple. Uh, you might have the running back, you might have the tight end, essentially you're just reading the user. The user's typically gonna be one of these guys. Wherever the user goes, you just take the other one. Again, we'll man up the user with the running back here. It's again, just super simple read. That X route over here is gonna pull down any flats. Uh, here we go. The X route over there is gonna pull down any flat zones and give us a very, very wide open area to throw that A route for an easy slant. So let's snap it. Oh, he went over there. We've got, the we've got the slant route right over the middle for a huge gain. Again, make one guy miss, you're getting huge yards. It's again, very, very simple read progression. If they're blitzing heavily, this play setup is gonna work very, very well for you and gonna set you up very much so for success. Again, you see the user go to immediately guard this wheel route. That allows us to just have this wide open tight end over the middle against heavy pressure. This flat route is no longer gonna sit in this area. Typically, if there wasn't any flat zones going out here, he'd be sitting right here, making that slant route a little bit more difficult. But because we have this flat route going over here, the flat defender goes with him. Look at the monstrous area that we have to throw to this tight end right over the middle. Huge, huge gain in a super simple read. Now, we'll show this one more time. Same setup, but let's have the user go and guard the tight end this time, right? So user, gonna guard the tight end. Once again, do some type of heavy blitz setup. There we go. And we'll run the same exact route combo here. All right, he's gonna go guard the tight end. Cool, we're gonna hit the running back and we're gonna gain 10 yards. Very easy, you're gonna get your opponent out of the pressure defense very, very quickly. Now finally, we're gonna look at one more universal zone beater out of mesh spot. One of my favorite plays just because of the utility of this. It's so, so good. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna streak X. We're going to again put B on a flat and you again have the option of re-wheeling the running back if you want. And then we're gonna motion over this Y receiver. Now, essentially, a lot of the times when you motion out of this, we'll be doing that to get extra blocking. But what we're gonna be doing is we're actually gonna create a very deep post route that the user's gonna have to go guard. 
Uh, and if he does, we're going to have a check down to the tight end for a very easy flat route. Now, I also like to double team the outside most defender when I do this, just to give myself an easy rollout. And we also have that flat wheel combination on the right side, just an extra thing that our opponent's going to have to worry about. So they have to defend that wheel to the right, and they have to defend that super deep post. This is such a difficult setup to defend and very, very easy to actually read. And you can see, even if they try to get there, the speed advantage is typically gonna be something they're not gonna be able to overcome, and we pick up the huge yards. Again, let's take a look at this. Now, if we were um, actually in game, we'd definitely be taking this wheel route. It's just way too wide open. The user obviously went with the post route here, but the wheel route's so difficult. And honestly, we're gonna be throwing that wheel route so frequently that they're gonna be looking to the wheel route first. And if they fall a step behind this player, we're gonna have a huge gain. So let's just do this one more time. Again, a very simple setup, just giving us an easy, easy read. Again, this is gonna work against cover two, cover three, cover four, it's not gonna matter. Let's even go to a Tampa two this time. Let's play some hard flats, what the heck. Let's pretend they're just blitzing the heck out of us out of, out of a cover two like most people do. We'll double team that guy on the outside and we're gonna roll out. Look at how wide open Y is, just a huge gain. Very, very easy way to pick up 40, 45 yards on a simple play. So that's Mesh Spot, one of the best plays out of gun tight and something you can absolutely mix up a lot of different setups out of to keep your opponent off guard. Play Z Spot. This play I go to when I'm facing somebody who really likes to run man defense. The way we're going to set this up, we're essentially going to have four routes on this play that are going to beat man every single time. So let's let's give you the setups here. Again, we are in man on defense because I really want to emphasize that this is our go-to man beating play. Now, what we're going to do out of this for the first setup is we're going to streak B and we're going to put RB on an out route. Now, what's so great about this, that running back out route is so good this year. It's absolutely something that you need to take advantage of. But the X and Y combination on the left side of the field is really, really deadly. And I'm going to show you exactly what happens here. Again, I'm going to snap this ball, hang on to it as long as possible, show you the reads and what we're looking at. So again, we're just going to hang on to it here. And you're just going to notice everybody is just open, open, open. So when you see this in instant replay, you're really going to wonder how this is uh, going to be easily defended if somebody runs this play against you. So first of all, the running back out just wins and it will win every single time. It's not going to matter unless he gets crazy bumped and just stuck in the line of scrimmage. He's going to win. If you have a good tight end. Now, the the Washington football team does not have a good tight end. He will win this. If you have the new Vernon Davis with um, route tech on him, for example, this is also another route that is going to win. It's not going to matter if he's playing a cornerback defender. You will also be able to throw this corner out. But in this case, we have a bad tight end and he does not have an ability on him. So he does not win man. But let's take a look at the left side of the field. So first, I want you to notice this whip route. This whip route is the best man beating whip route in the entire game. Let me just show you what happens. He will absolutely toast his defender he's got him by five yards and that is gonna force them to defend this some other way they might have to put a hard flat out there they might have to go manually guard it it's going to be a worry for them and it's absolutely something that they're gonna have to concern themselves with now we obviously threw this C route and the C route is so good uh, because it's actually tight in the formation and it's not to the outside of the field I do not like throwing C routes against man defense when they're to the outside, but when they are to the inside, they are so good. And this is so hard to defend. This route will win a lot. So again, we'll run this one more time and just show you the setup. We're gonna streak B, RB on an out route. We're gonna snap this ball. I'm gonna show you how wide open this X receiver gets. He's just wide, wide open. If they don't have an extra guy over there, you're gonna pick up somewhere between five to 15 yards every single time. All right, and the second setup that we're gonna look at out of Z spot is going to be also a man beating setup, but it's to give us a little bit of extra protection because sometimes you're gonna see a lot of man defenders just send man blitz, man blitz, man blitz over and over and over again. So in that case, I like to motion over B, block him, and then just put the running back on an out route. That is essentially going to give us just a wide open read against man blitzing every time. Look at how wide open that running back is. If we get a better animation, we get to rack that up the field. But just a super simple way of just creating a little bit more time for ourselves and 
putting ourselves in a situation where we can stand tall in the pocket, make the right read, and pick up really, really nice yards. There we go. So that's Z spot. Let's get to the next play. And it's slot post. Uh, this slot post play is so good, especially if you have a really, really good route runner in the A position. Now, we do not here. Our tight end is not a good route runner. I will flip this in a second. So we have the um, Terry McLaurin, the Y receiver, running the post. But I do want to show you the setup, just making it look exactly the same as our other setups that we've had in this video. So we're going to start with just a universal beater. This will beat man. This will beat zone. This will beat cover two, cover three, cover four. Uh, it will beat everything. Now, again, you really are relying, if they run man defense, that that A receiver has good route running. So that said, let's get into the setup here. But we're going to start against a cover three zone. So what we're going to look at, though, is we're going to streak X. We're going to put Y on a whip route. We are then going to put B on a flat route. And you guessed it, we're going to wheel route our running back. We are constantly going to threaten that running back on the wheel. That is absolutely going to keep our opponent guessing off guard and having to defend that every single time. Now, against the cover three, I do like to try to roll out because I love the post route. The post route, again, is very, very good. It gets up the field into a very nice position and allows us to maybe make one spin move, get up the field, score a touchdown. Very simple, very easy read. I love it. And again, you're, you're putting yourself in a situation where they have to guard this wheel route on the right side. And a lot of times, the user is the person that goes and defends this. And if the user goes to defend this, because look at how wide open he is right now. This is typically the user right here. If the user doesn't get here, throw the wheel route. Easy read, easy throw, right? Now, if the user is late to this post route, he has to keep guarding this post route. He's so wide open. It's such an easy, easy read and gives you a really, really nice game. Now, if they go into like a cover two, your, your reads aren't gonna change. It's exactly the same with this play. Again, B in a flat, RB, this is our setup. It's very simple. You do not need to roll out. You can stand in the pocket if you want. Up the wheel the wheel is there but we're gonna throw this a route again and we miss it because we were under pressure practice mode sheds are great but you get the idea again wide open easy simple reads giving yourself just a very very easy place to throw the ball and again the wheel route beat cover two here right uh, cover two is not the end all be all of stopping wheel routes at all you could actually have thrown either of these they both would have worked the flat route or the wheel if you look at the other side of the field, this zig route does a job, right? It pulls down any of the flat zones, like right here. This, uh, I think it's a cloud flat, because I think it's a Tampa 2, comes down and guards him, leaving the tight end again wide open up the seam. Now, I'm gonna flip this, because I'm gonna show this against man defense here, and you're gonna notice that McLaurin now, because he is a good receiver, will beat his man very easily in man defense. This post route is very, very good against man and puts us in a really good position to be able to throw this. Again, we got an inaccurate, but you get the idea. McLaurin is wide open against his man. There he's up against the tight end, so it's not really fair, but it still works very, very well. All right, so let's go to setup number two. And this is, again, a little bit of a zone beater, and it's just kind of a mix up. So let's say they're, you know, in cover three or something like that. All we really need to do here is we're going to put exactly the same thing on the right side. We're going to put A on a zig. We're going to streak B. We're now going to put X on a curl route, and we're going to out route RB. And essentially, this is a common setup that you'll see out of, like, um, bunch TE. It's attacking the deep right, and it's giving you a curl flat on the left. This does a great job against most... Um, zone defenses and just puts you in a really good spot right you got x just sitting in the middle there really really nice gain and you're just kind of stressing the user if the user goes and guards the post route so let's just take a look at this here let's pretend this guy is the user here if he's the user and he goes and guards the post follows mclaurin up the field right then you're going to have this x wide open behind and to be honest, this is probably the wrong read that I made here because look at how wide open this post route is going to be. But you get the idea. It's a simple read. You're just going to stress their user a little bit. Maybe they're in a Tampa 2 or something like that. And you know, they're going to flip this here. There we go. They're going to set up like this. Same thing in a Tampa 2. Well, we have RB. We could have taken it. We're going to take Y. Really, really nice game. 
huge deep post route they're gonna have to go guard it so one of my favorite setups one of the most underutilized plays in all of madden i think it's great it beats man zone everything it's phenomenal definitely add it to your playbook and finally, we're going to look at one of the sneakiest plays in Madden uh, for a couple reasons. One, this is a play action. And this play action does a great job of screwing up a lot of the blitzes in Madden, but it's also a cover two bomb. It can be a one play touchdown against any cover two defense in the game, and it's a quick snap play. So here we've got our defense in a cover two, and they're in a cloud flap. This is a Tampa two. This is a very, very common defense you're going to see a lot of. But really, you can just come out and snap this ball. And if you time that B route right, you're going to be able to complete it and you're going to be able to rack it up the field and potentially get yourself in for a one play score. Now, I do like to make one adjustment to make this slightly better. You can see the A route kind of runs in the middle. Um, and there are some people that say, all right, you can just wait on that A route and you can throw the A route for a really nice gain. But I don't really like that read because you got to wait so long for it. So I like to just put A on a streak and I think it holds the deep safety um on the right side so this guy right here uh in a much better position and allows us to throw the corner out a little bit quicker and he gets a little bit more wide open so let's snap it again and now you're going to notice that b route a little bit more wide open right we're able to rack that spin you know make a miss and maybe we get up the field for a touchdown but a super super good cover two beater you just come out a and a streak snap it as quickly as you can that play action does a great job of holding people and you know maybe you get a spin move in there just like that and you get a touchdown against cover two very easy very simple and i think it does just a phenomenal job against people who just abuse cover two over and over and over again now this play can also beat man and it can also beat cover three so if you have somebody who is running man a lot against you i do like to just come out on this because you've got a built-in post corner route on the left side so again we're looking at man defense here but that post corner does a phenomenal job against man coverage that extra out will win you're going to hit something on the sideline and you're going to gain big yards so you mix this in with that z spot play you're really becoming difficult to defend if somebody is just running man defense over and over again now if there's somebody who likes to run a lot of cover three right so let's go into a cover three here if we can find a cover three there's a cover three buzz that'll work um, now, I don't like particularly running the setup like this to the wide side of the field. So if you streak A, I don't think it does a good enough job of giving us a wide open angle against cover threes. You can fit it in there, but it's scary, right? Like, I had to lowball that, and I still felt uneasy about it. But if they're running cover three a lot and you just want to go to this play, I would just flip it, and then I would put Y in a streak. Now that X route is gonna be just wide open, even against cover threes. So let's go over to that cover three again. And you're gonna notice that streak and that weird post flag route, post corner route, whatever you wanna call that thing. I think the thing on the right is the actual post corner. This other thing is, uh, I don't know what to call it. But anyway, uh, we're just gonna snap that and you're gonna notice how much more open this X receiver is and just gets us a really nice safe throw against cover three defenses. Now, that is absolutely something that you can add to your game plan. And this whole scheme is so difficult to defend. Definitely keep mixing in all of these plays. If you use them all in conjunction, instead of spamming one play over and over again, you're gonna become almost impossible to defend in Madden. And if you enjoyed this video and you're serious about becoming a better Madden player, Check out this video where I show you the top 5 most overpowered plays in all of Madden.